welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now as Jolaine and Taylor with Heavenly Pet Memorials. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm... I'm, I'm excited to chat with you guys more about what uh, what you guys do over at Heavenly Pet Memorials. But of course, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier, still a little sad. It, it, it must be a, a rewarding but tough job for you guys. It is. Mm -hmm. It is um, exactly that, tough and rewarding. So, um, mm -hmm. so we just um, <laughs> hope that we help a little bit, you know, when f families use us. Yeah, so. it's, never, it's never easy when customers have to come to you guys, have, have a pet has passed, right. and, you know, but it's great that you guys are here to offer that support, to, to tell them, uh, like, you know, here's what you guys can do, here's how you can honor them. So I do appreciate what you guys do and the need for you guys in the community. So I guess to start out, you know, what is it that all you all offer, you know, customers out there? Um, we offer pet cremation. Um, we also offer memorialization. Um, we offer, we do assist with, um, we don't have a pet cemetery, mm -hmm. but we do assist with that if that's something that, you know, oh, families okay. want to do a burial or mm -hmm. what have you. Yeah, um, let's, let's, I want to talk about this crem the cremation process a little bit now. Like, what? What do people need to do? So, say you know, unfortunately, um, they've, they've their pet has passed away. What's the what's the process look like for you guys for them? Um, it can go a, a couple different ways. You know, if it's something that you've planned, um, you know, we um, offer transportation from the vet office mm -hmm. if if that's where your your pet is, or from your home. Mm -hmm. um, there are more home vets now that do that at home, and then you just give us a call. Um, and let us know that. And then sometimes it's unexpected. Mm -hmm. So it's it's one of those things where you're just like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And you Call guys, us. yes, and yeah. you guys do this locally, right? Yes. Is like, I guess I, I'm unfamiliar with the industry and the process. Are there other places that I guess send off the animals or how? Well, Leah, what separates you guys from other kind of cremation and, and pet memorial type services? Yeah. So all of. Our services are provided here in Topeka. Mm -hmm. uh, once your pet comes into our care, they never leave our care until they are ready to come home That's and you take them home. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, a lot of places do, there's a bigger um, pet cremation in Kansas City, so a lot of them do send off oh, okay. to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. So it's important to ask your vet, you know, Who's your cremation provider? Where is our pet going? And mm -hmm. and if that's something that's important to you, so. Oh, I, I, yeah, I think yeah. so. I mean, again, you, you've been with this this you know pet for years now. Right, you right. you want it. You want the best for them, even after they've passed. Exactly. Yeah, and something yeah. I'm curious about are the keepsakes um, that you offer, like because really these pets are part of your family, mm -hmm. you know, and yes. you want something to remember them by. Maybe maybe it's an urn, but maybe it's something else. Like what are what are the range of options? Yeah. So um, you know, pets are family. Their memorialization should be very personal to you and, and them and and so yeah, we offer urns, stones, um, artwork, jewelry that, you know, part of their ashes can go in. Um, there's blown glass. I mean the options are Endless, yes. and so really, yeah. it's important, you know, to mm -hmm. take your time, and that is something that can be done anytime. It doesn't have to be a decision that's right made away. right then. Oh, okay, so, yeah. yeah, that's great. So, yeah. yeah, we always encourage people to kind of give it some thought and and make sure it's something special for you. So, yeah, I love yeah. the idea of, of of incorporating them into something artistic and mm -hmm. and or creative. Like that's something that gives you joy to look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Very definitely. Special. Has there have you seen any kind of trends in what people um, end up doing with these keepsakes or memorials? I think um, ink nose prints are becoming more popular. Oh. Um, they say every um, ink nose or in nose print is unique, kind mm -hmm. of like a human fingerprint. Oh. So um, we've noticed that. So and, and they're really cute. I mean, they really yeah. are cute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how, how could they not be? Yeah. <laughs> I warned everybody I was probably going to cry a little yeah. bit during this. You, you got me there with the nose prints. Oh. I can feel the tears while I know. Oh. <laughs> Thinking about my my pets one these days. Yeah. I wanted to get a little nose print or a paw print of Charlie. Right. Yeah. Like that. But again, it, it is wonderful that you're able to offer these services to, you know, help help people, help pet owners make that transition over, find a little bit of healing as well and way to honor our, our loved ones that have passed. It's, yeah. Yeah. Again, I, I commend you for what you guys do. Uh, also, I, do, I wanted to go back real quick, quick to the, um, the cremation type of um, system. We're oh. private cremation, mm -hmm. uh, communal, individual. What's the difference there in how that's all done? So private is 
they are the only one in the crematory at the time. So um, and that and tends to be a little more expensive. And then we have individual, which is, there's others in the crematory, but they're separated. Um, and so you are getting only your pet back. Mm. Of course, yeah. yeah. And then communal is, they're in with others, and then you wouldn't receive the remains back. There's, oh, okay. So yeah. it's a little less expensive option. Yes. And, and some people just don't know what they want to do. And mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, but want them the treated part, respectfully. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, as, uh, that's what I matters. Think as mm -hmm. long as everything's done respectfully and just, you, again, to whatever works to help someone make that transition over because mm -hmm. it, it's going to be tough. Yeah. It's, it's tough for everybody. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And the important part, too, so we do have like an individual tracking tag system. So each pet that comes into our care mm -hmm. receives their cremation tag number and, and that kind of follows them through the process so that ensures that it is your pet and only your pet that oh, you're getting back. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. yeah that, that's also very nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you hear horror stories do, sometimes. So it's great that you're, again, just, you know, being respectful, doing your due diligence and just making sure that everything is done nicely, mm -hmm. comfortably, and everyone's ideally a little bit happier at the end. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining us this morning. Yes, it's thank you. I've learned a lot. It's been a very touching <laughs> chat, and I'm going to cry during the break now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, everybody, if you want to learn more, please visit heavenlypetmemorials.net.